Hey guys, I'm excited to bring to you uh, the most recent book that I completed reading. Well, actually I didn't complete it. I'm still working on it, but there's going to be a reason for that. I'll, I'll tell you about that here shortly. It is called Claim Your Power by Mastin Kip. It's a 40 day journey to dissolve the hidden traumas that kept you stuck and finally thrive in your life's unique purpose. What's really cool about it as well is there's a foreword by Dave Asprey. So he's wonderful. Definitely check him out if you don't know who he is. Um, both Mastin and Dave have a lot of content online, so I also encourage you to look there at any authors that you're discovering, anybody who's a thought leader. Obviously, YouTube, everybody's there anyway, but I love uh, YouTube um, for that. So about this book, Claim Your Power. Right now, I'm loving this for my own life because I'm doing deep dives, and that's what this book is about. It's about trauma and trauma responses. And I know you're probably thinking, you know, oh, not for me, not for me. Um, and, and that may be true. You may not be ready for that type of content right now or trying to do emotional deep dives or traumatic uh, dives in your life. But uh, this is a beneficial tool um, for really anything you want to accomplish, whether it's an emotional goal, uh, a mental goal to get your, your mindset right for, for um, you know, things you you want your future to ultimately become. So there's that. And then uh, of course with your body as well. And so his book, The Claim Your Power, is a holistic approach to dealing with the uh, lack that you may be experiencing in your life, lack of joy, lack of happiness, lack of physical mobility, lack of emotional capabilities in any given moment. And Maybe you're just suffering in general and you would love to have a release from what's holding you back. This is the book exactly for that. How he does this, um, well, first, he's a functional life coach, which I think is great. I'm interested in functional fitness, and that's really uh, creating more space in the body in terms of a functional fitness, creating more space in your physical body to be able to handle the day-to-day -day actions and mobility that's required. Uh, for whatever you're doing day to day, standing, sitting, getting in out of cars, maybe it's weightlifting, training, maybe you're an athlete, the functional ability for your body to move through its ranges of motion, and also having that strength there. And so the idea of that functional ability can be brought into the um, holistic space to heal deep trauma. And what that looks like is repetition and opening of your emotional body, uh, opening of your thought patterns so that you have more space, more room to be flexible in those experiences, whether they're old patterns or new patterns. And in doing so, you increase your ability to be um, successful, more or less. So functional coaching is what he's really involved in. And what else, I, and, and what I really love about both of those as well, whether it's athletics or even in trauma, it's about addressing your own individual needs. And that's what's great about functional, functional uh, training and healing. So he does a really good job in this book of creating a backdrop and a background to address all the concerns that will come up in your life. Has it been the way you've been raised? Has it been your relationships with other people? How do you yourself view your own world? Are there things that you know are slowing you down? And what can and what do some of those things really look like? Masson does a great job of pointing out those individual things in segments. So there's lots of little pockets that break down the nuances and the flavors and the tones of some of the limitations that, you know, we are all facing. Every person on this earth is facing these limitations. It's just a matter of what is unique to us and what will help unlock our ability to move ourselves to the next level. It's about uh, naming your emotions, understanding what are your current patterns, what are you doing right now in your life that may not be beneficial, may not be moving your life forward, and what can those habits, qualities, and decisions be to unlock yourself and to free yourself up into that more functional range of emotion, uh, range of uh, physical motion as well. So. Functional, 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 which is practical, which means um, having a plan, having a system in place and uncovering those things. So uh, I felt like I just went on and on. I hope some of that really made sense. Uh, the reason why I haven't finished this book is because 
once he outlines a format and a relative system and an understanding of how to work with your traumas, then he gives you, then you actually go on this 40 day journey of journaling more information, looking at specific uh, tips and tools to help unlock portions of your life, your mind and your emotions where you may be stuck. I know I've kind of brought myself a, a lot further in. I, I should also state this. In order to heal your traumas, I'm finding, and it's been working incredibly well for me, is to understand that those traumas come from a place of survival. They come from a place of restriction and areas where we found success in behaving in a certain way or doing things a certain way. And that in turn allowed us to hold on to these behaviors and these patterns. And so in order to unlock those, Mastin Kip, who's more or less been a pioneer in this area, has stated that it is important to bring the emotional body in as well as the nervous system. Of course, emotions are part of it all, but it's really our central nervous system that causes that fight or flight energy in our lives that makes us really fearful that we don't want to go up and, uh, you know, face rejection, um, you know, face any fear that we may encounter. And, and they're endless. But the idea is create a safe space, create a safe container, whether it's with you and somebody else or it's with a community of people, find a group, a safe space where you can begin to chip away at that old expectation of that habit, that behavior, that fear, whatever rises up within you. So it's basically a reverse engineering of that trauma that initially took place. And again, that ties into that functional aspect. Everybody's situation is a bit different. So for myself, as I'm pursuing acting and I'm diving deeper into greater emotional work, which is very, I mean, I wouldn't say it's new because I've been at it here for a little while, but I'm always bumping into a new layer, um, a new, new confrontation with myself, with a story that I've told myself throughout the course of my life that I now have to face so that I can express that emotion within that moment to give my characters their truth. So through my own truths and finding mine, I can apply those to uh, the characters that I'm portraying as well. So that's a little bit of how that uh, is influencing my life. And particularly now, everybody's staying at home. I am using this time to basically attack these traumas to make sure that I'm in safe spaces as I explore and do new things that are completely unknown and unfamiliar to me. So this has been a wonderful tool for me. I'm excited to share it for you. I know I'm sharing it a little bit early, but again, you go on this 40 day journey and you have the ability to, uh, through, through Mastin's beautiful question asking to understand what are some elements that you're bumping into? Where do you want to be that you're not? What stories are you telling yourself? And it goes on and on and on. So it's a really great deep dive. Great if you're already journaling, which I'm doing a lot of. Uh, I do the gratitude journal. I do regular journaling. I am, again, doing character work in my acting classes, etc. Uh, even vocal classes, kind of interesting. I'm doing that and I haven't sang since I was in sixth or seventh grade. So you can imagine it doesn't sound great, but it's facing that fear. Um, having a safe place in a community of artists and other people to do it with, and then just getting some repetitions in and slowly cracking away at that phobia, that fear, that survival patterns that take place. So I've had a wonderful, wonderful time with this book. I would recommend you to get it if you are ready to go that deep, if you're really wanting to face some deeper elements of your life, even if it's just one aspect this is like getting your hand held through the process. And of course you can take it at your own pace. You can do it day after day. You can come back to it whenever you want to, but definitely have this tool in your kit. I will also kind of lastly say, since we're at home, I've been at home, this has been a great opportunity to find that material from these authors that I really love. I joined a, a two to three day webinar with uh, Mastin Kip and he had some additional resources uh, some slides. He talked more in depth about his processes and the importance of it. So when you're doing work like this, it's important to feel safe. It's important to have community. And we need that more than ever now, obviously, because we're isolated and some of us are a bit in solitude. So 
uh, reach out, get involved in new things, try new things, pick up this book, uh, be willing to gift it to somebody else as well, share it with a significant other, and definitely don't do it alone because we can't we can't do this life alone, no matter no matter what we think. So, uh, thank you for uh, stopping by and checking out this video. Please jump in the comments. Let me know what your thoughts are. If you're getting enough information, if you're not, I'm probably talking too much, but I'm just testing out some different formats here as we go. So, thank you, and we'll see you in the next video.